What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We are headed south, me and my wife, Angel. Headed down to my buddy Brad's place. Uh, do a little fishing and a little wakeboarding. I've wakeboarding in over a year, probably, so it's gonna be a little rusty. I had to go up in the attic last night and go through about five different boxes to find my wetsuit. Um, I used to go surfing in California a lot, so that's why I have wetsuits, but uh, got the wakeboard in the back. I haven't used it in a while, and uh, we're meeting Brad right now at a little lake down uh, in New Braunfels, Texas, and we're going to do a little fishing, and there's this weird fish that we're going to try to catch and do a catch, clean, and cook on, but see if we can find one first. So we're meeting him at the dock, uh, going to hop in his little jet boat, go do some fishing, and then uh, when we get done fishing, we're going to head back up to Austin and uh, do a little surfing and wakeboarding. So. Pretty much have to have a uh, jet boat to fish here, is what Brad said. And uh, other people come down kayak fishing. They're having a little church under the bridge deal. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna get in the boat. I don't know where we're going, how far we're running, or anything like that. So I'll uh, let you know when we get there and start fishing. The weird fish that I was telling you all about in the truck is called Placo, Placo, Placosimus, whatever you want to call it. We're going to try to spear one and then uh, cook it up and eat it. So we're going to try to find one real quick and then uh, get the bass fishing. I'll just like pin him down with it. Yeah, just pin him down. Yeah, that's a Got him! Yeah. Oh yes, that's a big one. Dude, that that deal didn't even go, go in, in there. Yeah. Dang, that thing is weird looking. Yeah, Can you grab him? Oh my gosh. Angry, you gotta feel this thing. That's pretty. That was cool color. Yeah. Dude, that thing is weird. That is a weird looking fish, guys. Holy cow. He stinks, too. Yeah. So, uh, that's dinner. We got one for dinner. That's all we need. Those things are tough, tough. I mean, it feels like, feel it real quick. You <laughs> feel it. Oh, that's weird. That's awesome, guys. All right, now we're going to get some bass. We're gonna go bass fishing for a little while and uh, clean this puppy up later. They stay out of water for hours, so. Or days, huh? Yeah, he'll be alive by the time we get to Austin. That is crazy. Just fix fishing a little Texas rig. We're gonna work these docks real quick. See if we can't get a few bites. I'm gonna move to the next spot. Oh, that's a good fish. Uh, we're flipping two pounders. First one of the day, not bad. Not bad at all. Surfer, right? First fish of the day. I need to switch the baits because I'm not catching any fish. Maybe they like it darker too. You did it for show. Yeah.
three pounder. in the process maybe heck yeah it's good old little bass oh yeah three pounders see if we can't catch another all right guys brad's buddy came along with us he brought a pole spear we're gonna head back in this little creek and uh, see if we can get another one of those clackles for for lunch <laughs> nothing the jet can't get through so this is a Hawaiian sling basically just a pole with spears on the end and if you're in the water you can take it like this and it'll shoot out like that but I'm stab them with it so Let's see if it works oh my yeah God. that was a miss You got him, just keep him playing. I'm gonna get him. Cool. Heck yeah. About the same size as that other one. He was peeing. <laughs> that one went straight through him. Yeah, there's a fat bass right there. Oh, headshot. Did you get him? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Come on, baby. Stick him more. Stick him down. He's, he's down to the rocks. My boat flippers. That's yes. a big one. That's another big one. Those are some weird looking <laughs> creatures. Damn, he's pegged. Look at that belly. That thing's yeah. crazy looking. It's <laughs> like a leopard fish. Give me kids. Oh, dude. They smell funky. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It's not like that's eat dirt and algae. Is it making noise? Yeah. Look at his nostrils. Yeah, that's weird. It's like making noise. Yeah, he's croaking. <laughs> it's like a fish. And some teeth. Little baby ones. Yeah. Soft teeth. It's weird. Alright, so we're done fishing for now. We got... You saw them earlier. We got three big clockos or whatever they're called. We're about to load the boat up. Head to Austin and uh, hop on the wakeboard boat. Brad, you ready to test the water? Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be cold. So we're just hanging out for a little bit. Brad's girlfriend is actually like a pro surfer. So we're gonna watch her for a little bit and then we might be meeting up with some other wakeboarders. And then uh, me and Brad are gonna show y'all how bad we are. He's way better than me though. So.
these girls just showed me up on a surfboard um, with a half a wetsuit. And I got a full body wetsuit, so we're gonna see how bad this is on a wakeboard and uh, hope I don't hurt myself. I'm trying to get it on. My fat self in a wetsuit. <laughs> we're ready now. Alright, guys, here goes nothing. That's cold. Alright guys, I had to take a little break. I think Morgan might be going to uh, surf on one of the big boats. Hey puppy, hey puppy, hey puppy! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just taking a little break and uh, get back out there before the sun goes down because I'm already cold and it keeps getting colder. It's been a while since I've done this, but it's fun. I'm done. I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. <laughs> I'm already shaking. <sighs> Brad's turn. He's uh. Now he gets to freeze. off the wakeboard boat. My legs are jello and we gotta clean these suckers so we can cook them up for dinner. So I'm not sure how to do this. I mean these are literally like a gar fish but even more even harder than a gar so I got these scissors. I'm gonna try to cut this dorsal fin off. Like that, and then uh, I really don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, get in behind those scales, just like that. Both sides. Got down that. Now I'm gonna try to go down the whole back of the fish if I can. 
<laughs> God, dude, that thing is like. Let's do some heavier equipment. Brad, Brad pulled out the old skill saw. We're going to, uh, let me wipe my hands off. Let me go to work. That's the easy way to get through an armored catfish. Now let's see if we can. Man, I don't know if I went all the way. I don't think you went all the way. Surely I did. Alright, that is through. What the heck? I think you should go deeper. Dude, I went deep. But if you think about it, you're gonna, if you cut them basically almost in half, then you're just gonna be able to peel the ribs out afterwards. That first little part. Oh yeah, baby, we're working now. Oh, cook it on the half shell. Yeah, it'll peel. On the grill. That is, that is some nasty looking meat. Red meat. Red meat. Hey, booby. Red meat. And uh, we're just gonna throw it skin side down on the grill and do it on the half shell and uh, see what it tastes like. So, take this other, other side off real quick and then uh, go give her a taste. Yeah. All right guys, pretty, in, pretty much in the coolest uh, house in Austin on the way. Got a little outdoor kitchen going on. Got some critters litter and uh, we're taking this bad boy. We might need to wash that <laughs> off a little more. I mean. Dude, I've washed it like three times. But it's still <laughs> dripping. Hopefully all that slime cooks off. So we're just gonna throw it straight on the on the grill. Skin down and uh, dust it off with some critter glitter and just let her cook. And that's it. Guys, the fish is done. Whew. Let's uh I don't know, it doesn't look like fish at all, actually. It just looks like a big piece of meat. Huh. Oh yeah, I smell it now. Smell good? It smells it smells exactly like a like a clam bake. Like a clam bake? It smells like clams. Yeah it does. Okay. We're diving in. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> we're trying it. I've never eaten this fish in my life before. It's like a pinkish fish. So here it goes. Let me see. It's not that bad. It's not, I mean, it's not, it doesn't taste like fish really. It has the taste of fish, but the texture is not there. I mean, for how plain, with how, how yeah, plain how it is. How much we didn't prepare it. It's not that bad. You want to try it? I mean, it's definitely not great. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, it's definitely not. <laughs> Morgan said she Morgan good. needs to. You should try it, Angel. It's not that bad. Like, it's just right. kind of bl a bland. All right, so mm -hmm. one out of ten, what would you rate it? Out of all the fish you've ever eaten in your life. I'm gonna go with two and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a two. It's not good, not. but it's not like. I mean, if you like did this. Yeah. Sprinkle it on your little piece. 
it would be a lot better. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad like that. So we got a two and a two and a half. Morgan? It's not that bad. Really? It looks like steak. No. Does it have a lot of bones in it? No, it has no bones. One out of ten out of all the fish you've ever eaten. Probably like a six. Dang. Oh, wow. Whoa, they gave like it a two. I, I kind of like it. Really? It's it's like it does meat. like stuff like this, though. A two and a two it's and like meatier, I feel like, than normal fish. I kind of like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, obviously. They got a bone thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Big thanks to Brad for taking me out today and Morgan and Brad for uh, letting us wakeboard. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.